Up until now, the Centurion's gone from battle to battle with no resupplying in between. When the ship first left the coast, it carried with it more than enough fuel and ammo to complete the mission. However, thanks to all the unforeseen obstacles we've encountered, the Imperial ambushes, a forced detour, our supplies are already running thin, and we're nowhere near the Empire's capital yet. In particular, there's the backup engine. It requires an enormous amount of Ragnite to keep it running. Right now, if we just charge on forward, there's a very real chance we'll run out of fuel. And if we get stranded in the middle of a frozen wasteland, it wouldn't just mean the failure of our mission. It would be certain death for everyone on board. There's no other way around it. We need to restock our fuel and ammunition before they're gone entirely. So, our next destination is a port town on our new route. The Empire's been using it as a supply hub. This is no ordinary resupply mission. The fate of everyone on board the Centurion hangs in the balance. No matter how far we go, all you can see is snow. It's scary to think what would happen if we ran out of fuel. Have you heard of the Minette? The Minette? In the last war, there was a ship called the Minette with a crew of 20. They got stranded and drifted for days. But when they found the ship after the war, there was only one body. All they found of the other 19 was just a big pile of bones in the kitchen. Don't say that! We would never go that far! One body? A hundred? It doesn't matter. We're still going to- Luf! The Centurion isn't like the Minette. We're not just drifting out here. Besides, we're surrounded by snow. At least fresh water won't be an issue. Anyone ever tell you you're too optimistic for your own good? <laughs> We've got to keep our heads up somehow. But we can't keep this up forever. Please, Claude, save the Centurion. We'll be arriving at our deployment point soon. Prepare for land combat immediately. Leave it to me. I'll make sure y'all make it back safe. And the transport trucks, too. I've used every trick in the book to make it this far. We've been pushing the backup engine to run on empty. It's affecting the machinery. If we don't get some more Ragnite soon, the whole system could backfire on us at any moment. We'd be sitting ducks out here. I'd rather not wait for the Empire snipers to pick us off. They wouldn't even have to snipe us. They could just pull up a chair and watch us die. Ugh. I've got goosebumps just thinking about it. We'll just have to take all the Ragnite the Empire's got, and their weapons and ammo while we're at it. Might need some more food, too. We're almost out of bread. We don't have any eggs, milk, or sugar, either. If we had those, I could make some pudding for Angie. Fuel is our top priority, but some more food couldn't hurt. Remember, though, we're not pillaging. We're targeting military facilities only. I don't want any civilians caught in the crossfire. As for your assignations... <clears throat> Claude, do you have a moment? I made a list of all the supplies we need. Can we go over it? Perfect timing. Let's hash out who's gonna do what. Our first priority is fuel, and then... We park the transport trucks out back behind the warehouse. Then, well, we distract the guards. Transport trucks? Maybe I can go outside on one. <gasps> Let's go, Rex! This is where we meet up with the Resistance, right? Yeah. We're looking for a blue rose in a window. Oh, because the Rebels are called the Blue Rose. 
I guess not all imps are rotten, huh? This city was originally part of the Nord Republic. The Empire hasn't been in control for long. They want to fight for their homeland, same as us. That's why they're working with the Federation. If they hadn't let us in, we'd have had no choice but to storm the city for our supplies. Well, I'm glad they're on our side. The less we gotta do, the better. Still, if we get caught, we'll end up prisoners of war. But the Resistance... Right. If the Imperials find them, it'll be Einhemt all over again. We'll have to be careful how we communicate. Shh! Some soldiers are coming. Hmm. Okay, I got this. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Sorry, pal, but it's nap time. Wait, stop! Stop and smell the roses. That's the code. You're with the blue rose? <laughs> Raz, let him go. He's our contact. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. My name is Mika. We already took care of the prep work. Let's go. Okay, follow him. Rags, what's wrong? We're leaving. <sighs> Come on, you weird dog. Fine, stay and watch the trucks. <gasps> oh, Rags, were you worried about me? Oh. Thanks, but I think I have to go. It feels like... Someone's calling me. Like I have to hurry up and find them. I hear it from over there. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, it'll be okay. It's just a little scary. But I... I have to go. called anyone. Oh. It's so pretty. The ice is all shiny. It just looks like a big white field from up on the ship. But I like being in town, too. It's warm and bright. <laughs> is that Doc your friend? Friend? Why, yes, he's a good friend. He's just like Rags. He looks really smart. You think he'd be friends with me? <laughs> <laughs> good boy. That's strange. Fenrir usually doesn't like anyone petting him but me. Spoke of a ship, a Federation snow cruiser, yes? Why would they come to this town? Um, I'm sorry, I don't really remember. You don't remember? I only remember my name. It's Angie. Of course, memory loss. It was like that for some of the others, too. Maybe that's for the best. You might be happier that way. But I don't like not knowing anything. Everyone's working so hard, but I can't do anything to help. All I can do is hide behind them. At dinner, everyone only gets two pieces of bread, but they all still share some with me. And when I finally sit down to eat, I have so much bread, I can't even finish it all. And everyone just smiles at me, even though I can hear their stomachs growling. And when I go to bed, they tell me stories, like... Enough! <sighs> so, 
everyone needs you, and everyone loves you. You must be so happy. You must have so much fun. Do you know how much I wanted a life like that? I-I'm sorry. Fine. You want to know who you really are? I'll tell you. Huh? I'll show you what you can do for all those nice people. All the people who protect you. Tell me! I just want to help! Very well. In that case... Remember who you are. Remember why you are here. Who I am? <gasps> Keep moving, look for the storehouse, and stay hidden. Let's go, everyone. Infiltrating the enemy's supply warehouse, huh? I've never been great at the whole stealth thing. Don't do anything crazy, Raz. The tiniest mistake could get you killed out here. Right, Kai? <sighs> What's wrong? I'll go keep an eye on that side. We'll meet up later. H hey, what do you mean? Kai, wait! <sighs> She's gone. This is Kai we're talking about. I'm sure she has a plan. What kind of plan? Don't know. But she's never run off without thinking, has she? Well, I guess that's true. She's a sniper. Working alone is what she does best. Just let her do her thing. Fine, I get it. We should get started too. Head for the rendezvous point, and don't let the enemy see us. No, Lena, I'm trusting you too. Look, the warehouses have numbers on them. This one is A4. And we're looking for D2, right? Yeah, the other warehouses should point us to it. Let's keep an eye on the numbers as we move. Searchlight. Security's pretty tight, just like we thought. If that light catches us, we're done. The Imperials are gonna be all over us. Be careful, you guys. Yeah. Mm, got it. Raz is actually taking this seriously for once. Is he okay? He has been acting kinda weird. Hey, that manhole's open. Reminds me of when I'd sneak down into the tunnels back home. If we do that here, we might be able to get around without the imps finding us. Worth a shot, right? Here it is. This has to be Warehouse D2. All the supplies we need are in there. Load it up, fast. That everything? Man, what a haul. Hey, what happened to Kai? We never ended up seeing her. We've loaded everything on the trucks. We're just waiting to leave now. But if she doesn't meet up with us soon... Did something happen to her? Should we have followed her? I didn't expect this. Damn it! What the hell is she doing? <laughs> Raz, wait! I'll come with you! Huh? Uh, hold on, you two! So, uh... Do I just wait here? <laughs> That's a Federation signal. You sure you don't need to answer that? It's none of your business. <laughs> That's a bit cold. Stop deflecting. I want an answer. That's why I'm here. I told you, the destruction of the comet was an accident. Sinking it was never a part of the plan. I didn't order them to attack your ship either. It was just a tantrum by an immature Valkyria. But now you understand, don't you? 
Those things aren't meant to exist. They're dangerous and cruel weapons, and humanity can't control them. That's why I ask you. I'm the one asking questions here. <sighs> I was given this transceiver by one of the refugees. Or one of your spies mixed in with them. Is that why they came? Did you attack that village and drive them out just to get this to me? Hmm. I talked to those refugees, Kai. A lot of people died in that attack. Children, the elderly, pregnant women. Did you know what would happen when you gave that order? Yes. Sacrifices had to be made. <sighs> Soldiers aren't the only ones who put their lives at risk. You've seen it yourself, haven't you? Changing the world takes compromise. Otherwise, the tragedies of history will only be repeated. All that matters is that you accomplish your goal. Only that can justify the sacrifices you've made. Lot said the same thing. If we don't do something, the tragedy will never stop. We have to believe in our goal and keep moving. I see. Our perspectives may be different, but he and I are one and the same. No, you're not! You say the same things, but you couldn't be further apart! Claude told us no matter how tough things get for Squad E, whatever sacrifices we make, we have to keep fighting for the sake of everyone! He would never hurt innocent people for some cause! He's nothing like you! My cause is not nearly so trivial as Claude's. I'm disappointed. I thought you of all people would be on my side. I am! I'm the only family you have. So please listen to me. I've done everything you asked me to do. But you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You went to the Empire to use their power. But you ended up no better than them. You're selfish and cruel, and you toy with human life. All you do is cause more tragedy! You don't care about peace. All you care about is... your own twisted cause! Is that why you called me out here? To tell me all... this? That's right. I don't take orders from you anymore. So... If this is where we part ways, what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to fight the Empire. And I'll fight you, together with my allies. <laughs> allies? The same allies you betrayed? <laughs> you chose to be a spy. You cannot deny that. Who really killed those hundreds of Federation soldiers on the Crystal Sea? You think you can redeem yourself now? No, never mind redemption. Can you even forgive yourself? I will never forgive myself. I'll carry that with me, but I will keep moving forward. Can you, Lena? <sighs> Kai! What are you... What? Well, well. Scaredy Claude in the flesh. You've grown up. K Kai! And Raz. This does take me back. You never change. <sighs> and the lovely Riley Miller. Always out of our league. I recognized you instantly. I'll take that as a compliment. Kai, what are you doing here? Why are you dressed up like an imp? I don't go by Kai anymore. It's for Seti now. I'm an officer of the Imperial Army. You're with the Empire? Then Lena... <sighs> I believe we've already reunited on the battlefield, albeit indirectly. Didn't you notice, Claude? If not, maybe you haven't grown as much as I'd hoped. Uh, hold 
on. This is Kai? You mean... the real one? Does that mean he's a spy for the Federation? A double agent? Th that's incredible! So you went undercover to beat the Imperial Army from the inside out. <laughs> I've missed this, Riley. You always had quite an imagination. No, I'm no spy. Though, I did plant a spy among you. Or at least, she used to be one of mine. Huh? What are you getting at? I joined the Imperial Army of my own free will. That's the truth. I'm working for a cause. I need power to see it through. This world is twisted, and I'm going to change it. Kai! War has changed, Claude. Nations fight each other, but it's not about territory or resources anymore. The system we know as war has been twisted beyond the human desires and competitions that sparked it. It's become its own culture, its own catalyst, its own reason, Claude. It's human insanity made manifest. I saw that insanity myself. I saw the way war had been twisted, and I vowed to stop it. Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! The Imperials are here! We're pulling out! It's begun. What has... I gave you the trigger. Your memory should come back. Never forget how much blood will be spilled because of you. Because of your power. Blood? friend of yours? Perhaps she'll be the first to pay the price. What? No! I don't want that! Then go back. Go back to the people who chose you. And then, finally... Huh? <sighs> go. Now. I'm sure you will. Lady Cremaria! What? D did any Federation soldiers come this way? We were in pursuit, but we've lost them. They've been dealt with. I melted them down until nothing was left. <laughs> Angie, how are we supposed to live like this who can we what can we believe in okay everyone's here wait rags is gone what but he always stays when I tell him did something happen <laughs> rags Is that... Andy? What are you doing here? We can talk later. Right now we need to leave. We're rolling out. Hang on tight. Fantastic. With this much fuel, we can go for weeks without losing speed. Not just fuel, either. We got weapons, ammo, trucks full of this stuff. That's a huge help. Take the food to the galley immediately, and pack the ammunition for easy access. We'll use their own shells to tear through their armor. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, there's eggs, milk, and sugar, too. We gotta get the cook to whip up some eggnog. 
Hey, it is practically the holidays. Man, I miss my mom's cooking. So, um, you know how I left Hafen before the rest of you? Seeing him didn't shake me up too badly. People change, and there's nothing we can do about that. But Kai, how much do you really know about all this? I'm as confused as you. He never really told me anything. He just dropped his cryptic hints. But if I told you what I do know, it would only hurt you. So I can't. Riley, Claude, you know Kai. The one who's been on our side the whole time, I mean. She's not the kind of person to lie or hide anything. So if she says she can't tell us, she means it. Please, just don't push her on this. Raz. Wow. When did you turn into a cool guy? Huh? I didn't know you had it in you. Riley. <laughs> Raz got there before I could. What? I trust Kai too. I mean, we're all friends here. Yeah, we were friends way before any of this military stuff. You guys. I'm sure we'll find out when the time comes. If she can't tell us now, then I won't ask. Is that okay with you, Kai? What? See, Kai? We're good, right? Everyone... Everyone... I'm... I'm sorry... I'm so sorry! <laughs> hey, Andy. You know everyone would be really sad if something bad happened to you, right? So... You can't run off without telling anyone, okay? Sorry... You can just tell someone if you want to get off this ship, you know. We could take you someplace safe. N no, I like being on the ship. I like everyone here. I just wanted to be useful, and I thought maybe being in town would help me remember. Angie. Just seeing you smile is enough for everyone here. The battlefield is scary. Sometimes we forget how to smile, so we're all glad you can help us remember. You don't have to worry about being useful to us. We just want you to be happy, okay? Riley... But you wanted to get your memories back, huh? Did you remember anything about your past? It's fine, though. You don't have to force it. If you don't have any memories, we can make some new ones. Everyone here can help you with that. New memories? And I think it's time for new memory number one. Since you said you're sorry... Ta-da! Your big sister Riley's special homemade pudding! Pudding? Hm? Oh, do you not like custard pudding? I don't know. I've never had it. Wait, you've never had pudding? Not even once? I don't think so. Wow. Maybe your family was super strict? Well, I promise it tastes really good. Go ahead and try it. Okay, thank you. Lots more where that came from, so have as much as you want. Okay. Thank you, Riley. Running off without a word? You scare the shit out of me. I still came back, right? Yeah. As long as you're here, I'm good. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I made you worry. 
I made trouble for you, too. Hey, no big deal. You know I'd do anything for you. That's what I mean. I, um, I took advantage of your kindness. Uh, uh, oh, damn it! I can't take it anymore! What are you? Gah, son of a... That hurt, man! Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> damn it, there's more? Idiot. Huh? Worked better than a punch, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now that's a knockout.